Hey, Hickok 45 here. Gonna do vlog number five. Try to pass along a little information to you. And uh, before we start though, let's make sure everybody's awake. That'll wake the dead pretty loud. So, wanted to thank everybody again for your support. Uh, we have over 5,000 subscribers now. Pretty hard for me to believe. Uh, just continues to grow. I'm um, enjoying the communications I'm having with so many of you. Uh, it's very difficult. It's getting more difficult to keep up with, but I'm still able to, to hang in there and do that. Uh, pretty much, pretty well. I'm sure some, some messages and things fall through the cracks occasionally. But uh, I'm trying to keep up with you as best I can. Uh, I just really appreciate the support. You know, we've been so many views and uh, so many constructive comments, constructive questions. Uh, it's, it's working out really, really, really well. I appreciate you supporting the ads that appear uh, when you can, when it makes sense. You know, that helps put ammo in these babies. So uh, that's always nice. Appreciate that. Uh, we're up to, I think, uh, 90. 90 or 91 vids now uh, on on the channel so a lot of videos there it's amazing how they've piled up uh, if you haven't seen them all hope you check them all out there's something there for everybody if you're a, a new subscriber you and I know I get a lot of messages uh, from new subscribers people that have just stumbled in or wandered in searched for a specific gun and they, they found me so I hope you get a chance to, to go back and look at some of the vids all the way back into the fall of last year, yeah, I was out there glocking around. Uh, maybe the camera angles weren't quite as uh, as good. I didn't have my cameraman uh, there with me a lot of times, but some some pretty good stuff. So uh, so check those out when you get a chance. Also, want to make you aware of my photo bucket account. It uh, is linked from my my homepage over there in the about me section. So and then from some of the vids too. I try to remember to to put the link in a lot of the vids. But we're taking stills of a lot of the vids, uh, the process of making the video. So close-ups of guns, uh, just, just various things that we're doing while we're actually uh, filming the video. We're get, actually getting ready to, since most of uh, my videos are not edited. There's not a lot of that right in the middle of the video. But uh, we take some uh, shots before we do it and then some afterwards if we think about it. And I uh, try to get those posted on photo buckets, some of those. So. Uh, hopefully there are some things there that are uh, of use to you. For example, in the, one of the most recent videos we did on the AR-15, my A2, a lot of conversation about whether it was an A2 or an A1. Well, it's an A2. You know, I posted a picture of that. It's just an early A, A2 uh, AR-15 made by Colt, and it has it's a mixture kind of a thing. So just some interesting shots like that that you can see. If there's something that's in question, I get a lot of questions about something, I might just take a picture of it and go post it on Photo Bucket so you can see a close-up of it. Uh, and uh, along with that, I'm looking at uh, opening a, or setting up a, a Facebook. I'm just now playing with it. I, I, in fact, I've created one. I'm not sure how it's going to work and if I can put Hickok45 as the username or not. But I've, I'm kind of I'll keep you posted on that. Check my homepage. Uh, thought maybe a, a Facebook account tied to uh, Hickok45 uh, YouTube account might serve as a kind of a blog, you know, of sorts. So I'll keep you posted on that, all right? Let you know more about it, either on another vlog or you can check my homepage for messages, all righty? And uh, one thing we like to do in the vlogs, of course, is, is keep the bullets flying, right? So let's take a couple more shots from this baby. I hate to let it cool off, you know, sometimes it just cools off on you. But that's not good. to mention is my son is working on a uh, uh, kind of a hundredth uh, special video will be up to a hundred videos pretty soon and uh, he's been working for a couple weeks off and on on a kind of a recap of the first 100 uh, Hickok 45 videos so I think you'll you'll enjoy that when that one goes up so kind of watch for that that will be the 100th video not sure what we'll call it yet but it'll be a, a recap of just about everything that we've done so far, it will not be 97 minutes long. I know I tend to make some long videos. That's what that little button's for. You can kind of move them along if, uh, if they get boring to you, right? Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Messages. Uh, speaking of communication, 
it's so much better if you have a question if you send it to me in a message. Uh, I do look at the profile comments. I, I try to keep track of those, but most of those are just comments. So if you ask a question on my profile, my main page, there's not a button where I can click reply and answer it really quickly. So sometimes I don't get those answered. Sometimes I'll go to your you know, uh, account and, and send you a message if it's a really you know, serious question. And sometimes I just forget to look at them and tell you the truth. So if you have a question, uh, it works best for me. I know others might be different, but if you'll just send it to me as a message, you know, as the, you know, it's not really email, with, but it's the best YouTube has. And I do lose some of those. I know I probably have questions. Uh, you know, if you know from your account, you go in there and answer something, or you you open it and it's not in bold any longer, and you forget about it, and then you get a bunch of more. It's harder to keep up with than regular email is, as you know. Then plus, when someone replies to me, if they don't reply for a few days. It doesn't show what my previous message was back to them or answer. So it's not like email. You, you know, I'll get a message occasionally and they'll say, yeah, thank you. I checked that out. You know, and maybe it was two weeks ago or a week ago that I said something to them. And I don't even know what it was about by that time. So, but anyway, I do the best I can keeping up with those. So appreciate you, uh, you know, messaging and uh, asking me anything you think I can help you with. Uh, I'm not an encyclopedia. You know, please remember Google can get you a lot of answers. But uh, I'll help you with anything I can. Friends, another thing I wanted to talk about. I, uh, for a long time, did not accept friends, again, because of the profession I'm in. And I wanted to keep my account as controlled as possible. That's, that's kind of difficult. But, you know, there's some really crazy people on YouTube. And there's some people that are good folks that do some crazy things and may have a crazy video or two, you know. And, and as I've mentioned before, somebody's looking at my account and they're, they click on a friend of mine and a friend of his and a friend of his and some friend four steps back and it's and there's some really crazy video maybe pretty wild or something it's associated with me so for that reason I don't have that posted on my main page and I've explained that before I think but I do accept friends now so if you have uh, requested that in the past and you want to be a friend quote unquote you know on YouTube for whatever benefits that gives you I think it maybe it, it notifies you when I post a video or it more likely to let you know I'm not sure exactly but I do approve those now hopefully I'm not approving a bunch of thugs here and there because I'm just approving anybody that requests uh, to be a friend now I'm just not showing them on my home page I didn't realize you could do that or you could hide them you know so anyway uh, I thought I'd mention that uh, I do get a lot of requests for things I'm, I'm getting a lot of requests you name it post videos support videos to uh, give shout outs and all that sort of thing and you know, I, I, I hate to be, I'm not rude, but I hate to just ignore a lot of that, but it's just almost impossible to uh, acknowledge a lot of those things and, and to do follow up on a lot of those things. It's everything I can do to keep up with what I'm doing and then get in and answer uh, messages and answer questions uh, like I, I like to do. Still able to keep up with it pretty well, pretty well. Uh, hope it gets so big I can't. That'd be great, I guess, wouldn't it? But uh, it's kind of nice being able to communicate with people all around the globe and, uh, and boy, I do. As you know, you send me messages from everywhere, and I learn a lot about the, the laws in your country, in your state. And it's pretty interesting stuff, so uh, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, speaking of media, I wanted to mention a couple of things. If you're not aware, there's a lot of great stuff out there uh, besides some of the stuff you see on YouTube, right? Uh, there's a radio show. I don't know if you're aware of uh, Tom Gresham. Probably most of you are. And in fact, someone uh, messaged me about a, uh, I think it was a gunradio.com. I was going to check it out. I haven't had a chance yet with some other uh, radio shows that are available on podcasts. But there is a, really a lot of stuff out there where people are talking about guns, places where you can call in, ask questions. Well, one I listen to that I do know about and have listened to for years is a Tom Gresham show. I think it's guntalk.com. You can get to it and you can download his podcast. But he's been doing this for years. It's on XM. I think it's 166 maybe, I don't know. I, I don't really catch it on XM anymore. It's on Sunday afternoons, I think about one to four, three hours worth uh, central time, if he's still on at the same time. I just download the podcast and listen to it uh, at my leisure, put it on my iPod, listen to it in the car when I'm you know, driving to work or, or home, but it's really uh, convenient to do that. Anyway, he's a good guy. He uh, really knows guns, been doing this a long time. He and his son have a, a TV show they do too. I forget what channel it's on, but he's a big gun guy, and uh, it's a call-in show. You can actually call in on Sunday afternoon, of course. But I just listen to the podcast. 
he's kind of tied to his advertisers like all these shows are. If you see some of them on TV where they're, uh, uh, I can't, uh, Guns and Ammo is one, and there's some others too, I think. It's pretty obvious who their advertisers are and who their supporters are. You just have to kind of filter through that. And as you know, I'm, I'm a Glock guy pretty much. I love a lot of different kinds of guns, but I'm a Glock guy. And Glock doesn't advertise a lot. They don't uh, put a lot of money behind those kinds of things. So, uh, you know, they just sort of sell themselves. So you don't hear a lot about Glocks. You hear a lot about M&Ps, Smith & Wesson, a lot about Springfields and, and SIGs and a lot of other guns that, uh, that do support these things more, put more money behind them. But, but that's okay. Once you get past that and realize that, they're good shows. Just we have to be aware of that. Another great show, hopefully you've caught this, is Lock and Load, uh, R. Lee Ermey's Lock and Load on the History Channel. I think it shows or airs about 9 o'clock on Friday nights most of the time, Central Time. Uh, my son and I are just loving that. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you've got to see it. If you don't get the History Channel, get somewhere so you can watch it. The, well, you know R. Lee Ermey. I mean, he's like one of a kind. He's, he's wonderful, wonderful. I mean, he's, he was made for that show. Not only that, though, the production quality. Uh, I mean, I guess it's the money behind him with the History Channel. It's unbelievable what they're doing there. The, they must have the, the state-of-the-art uh, cameras because they're capturing slow motion that's just out of this world, you know, blowing up things, shooting things, bullets in midair. Unbelievable. I mean, it's, it is great. Everyone I've seen is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. I guarantee you, you've not seen anything better than what he does in that particular vein, in that particular genre. I mean, that's it. Now, I can blow up a pumpkin and I can do some pretty cool things. I can't match R. Lee Ermey and his budget. It's unbelievable. you got to catch it. So uh, he's a great guy. In fact, he's just talking about it. gets me fired up. makes me want to shoot again. makes me want to put the bayonet on this thing. And... Get wild. Let's shoot this gun. All right. Let's pull the stock out. All right. That would make the Arlie Army proud, I think. But anyway, when you watch his show, it just makes you want to get something loud and powerful and shoot it. Maybe even something that shoots bigger bullets. Like this. 44 Magnum. All right. Boom. Maybe even some more bullets. Oh, here they are. I got where I put them. Yeah. Big, powerful bullets going fast. 44 Magnum. I know no V-log is complete without a little shooting, so uh, got to have a little of that, don't we? So, hope you catch Arlie Ermey, and you need to be under control when you watch it. You need to have plans to get to the range, I'll tell you. Uh, if you live on a place where I do and you can actually shoot, you need to make plans to go outside and you know touch a few off, because you will get the fever, believe me. It is great. So, I guess enough foolishness for this V-log. Hopefully uh, uh, you're enjoying the videos, and if you have questions, you're asking them, and uh, you know, you're just enjoying it. Uh, we're enjoying making the videos, having fun with it. Uh, I'll do a vlog like this about every couple of weeks and kind of catch up on some things. Like I said, watch for my uh, whatever information I pass along about the, the Facebook account, and you know, maybe it'll make it easier to communicate. Uh, uh, and post pictures and you know and that kind of thing. Uh, maybe it'll uh, obviate the need for using photo bucket. I'm not sure. I, I'm not a Facebook expert, believe me. Uh, but I'm I'm kind of learning how how I might be able to use that. So I'll keep you posted on that. So thanks for the support, 
and I'll see you on YouTube.